And you had bus ads? Yes, yes, we did. Uh, Yeah, we had had like 40 bus ads on the Metro bus lines in LA. Wow. Which is a big, you know, the big, you see all the big movies and stuff on there. I mean, we, we, myself and my team, we came with that concept on, I don't see a lot of independent movies do that. It's usually studio movies. So we're like, well, what's the way we can market this thing around LA? And uh, one of my buddies has a company in Florida and he told me, he's like, man, look, I get all my business, a lot of my business I get from bus ads. And, um, you know, I kind of took his advice and stuff and because bus ads are always moving. So they're not a fixed, they're not a fixed post, they're always moving around. So, you know, you see them all over LA. So we did bus ads as like a form of marketing, the big ones. And forgive me again if this is too much, but is this something your distributor's paying for? No, no, all the bus ads, a lot of the marketing, all that stuff was through me and my company. Wow, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's making sure too that the, the picture looks right and mm-hmm. how are you checking up to make sure that they've even put them out there? The bus ads? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes back to the previous question. That, that was the hard part. The coordination is like emailing back and forth to make sure that was proper. So they send like, you know, samples of the bus ads of how they're gonna look on the bus and then they start sending installation shots of them being installed in the bus yards in LA. Oh. And you get to see them, they're like, hey, they're gonna be going out this week. Here's the bus ads. You know, on the buses at the yard right now, and then you get, you know, samples. You get more samples from them, of them driving around LA and stuff, and then you can see them around LA too, and you know, do your own market, take pictures to help market and put it in places. So. Did they tell you which bus line? Like, hey, this is going to be on the two, and it's going to go down Santa Monica. Yes, there's well, there's certain routes they'll they'll take what you can get. Um, ours went from downtown LA, all the way westbound to uh, Santa Monica. So all the way from downtown LA through um, Hollywood and through like Midwestshire, Koreatown, all the way to Santa Monica, that whole section. Wow. And so do you remember the first time you saw, Yeah. It, not just their picture, but you saw yeah. it in front of you? Yes, yes. It was mm-hmm. kind of crazy seeing it because you're just randomly driving and hey, there's a bus ad. Like, it's really it's cool. kind of funny seeing it. Yeah. How'd you feel? Yeah. I mean, so here you come from another state and mm-hmm. you have people that probably want you to come home because mm-hmm. they miss you, but you see that moment where all this stress and hard work and everything is there on that bus. How was that? Yes, because that's, that's the film, that's your product you're putting out there. I mean, all that year and a half of work and then there's your final, that's, you kind of see that like that bus ad is a, a poster basically, it's a poster on the side of the bus, a huge poster. You see, hey, that's the product, what we made, that, you know, we made and put out there and it's, it's finished, you know, mission accomplished. So it's a great sense of uh, satisfaction because a lot of people, especially first time feature filmmakers don't even complete the film all the times. Right. Something falls through financing or whatever, you know, in post-production. So yes, it's a huge self of uh, accomplishment as you see. I bet. But that being said, uh, it was still difficult. It sounds like. Yes, definitely. And so was it, it was much harder than you thought it would be? Um, yes, I, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work. Uh, it was gonna be a ton of work, but you really don't know what you're getting yourself into until you do it. Just like anything in life, that life experience of, you never know until you try. So, of course, I've been told from people, hey, making that feature is huge. It's a lot of work, a lot of time. Um, I've been told that from friends and stuff, but you don't know until you actually do it. So, yeah, it was, yeah. Are you almost glad you didn't know? Just so you, because you had there right. that product right there in LA. It's got to be really surreal. It's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, this is LA. This is the entertainment capital of the world. Movie capital of the world. This is the best place to, one of the best places to market a film, obviously. You have all the studios here, production companies, distributors, people in the business are here. So it's, um, yeah, I think it's, it's huge seeing it here. It's, uh, it's great. It's, yeah, it's a ton of work just putting together. But is, is it better that you didn't know? Or, or do you wish you actually did know so then you could, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put words in your mouth, right. but do, do you? I think that, probably that I didn't know. However, that wouldn't have persuaded me from wanting to accomplish my goal and what I wanted. So, like usually if I want something, if I have a goal in mind, I'm just gonna do it until I get it done. Regardless of how hard it is and what it takes, it's gonna get done. So. Maybe if I would have known prior, like what was involved, 
maybe I would have went about it a different way or maybe changed my mind on some things, but it wouldn't have changed my mind of not wanting to do it overall.